Some interesting news. Ghost from the Past has been delayed, evidently, for the TCG side. Uh, from 326 to 416 now. Uh, this is a pretty intense change. Uh, I mean, it's only a couple weeks, but nonetheless, that's very interesting. So, well, that's that's the big kicker in, in the face today. So uh, let's dig on into that thing that we all know and love called your sweet, sweet market watch, shall we? All right, Tier Zero still has some stuff up from this, uh, and uh, this stuff is interestingly priced. So enter what's good five on frickin' checkout and save on your purchase. So I see that the Unicorn and the Venix is sold out respectively at 192 and 160. I see that the Artemis is still in stock at 160 though. A lot of this stuff's probably gonna go lower. Alistair of the Invoker, Madness 128, Matronius at 128, Drytron Matronius Quadanius, 120, 128. And then Evil Twins, ah, 128, 128, 120, 128. I see that the Kish Kill, yeah, Kishi Kill here is 128, 128 in the Minaru, and then the Beat Cop at 102. Alright, that's interesting enough. And then let's get into the regular Ultras here. So, Metronius Draconius, 20 bucks. Uh, Evil Twin is at 20. Stuff is. A lot of this stuff. Oh, wow. The Ritual Spell card sold out at 16. That's interesting. Uh, for those of you that want to play the, the cute little Shadal package with it, uh, Rionia the Magistus Averi is an $11 card. All right. That's very good news for budget players. Uh, Man, $3 over here for Lila. Um, Alpha Thuban sold out at fives, and then Drytron Fafnir sold out at fours. Hmm. There might be a lot of hype around some of this stuff. Uh, 2 dollars for New Alistair. Chalice Slimes are dollars for the upgrades. All right, I like what I'm seeing here. Some very nice, cheap stuff. Outside of that, I mean, the reprints in this set were all right, but we've got 30, okay, so much cheap stuff here, all right, Magista's Invocation is a rare, okay, so if you want to play Magi Dolls, uh, you got, what, a hot 40 cent inclusion into your deck, all right, I'm digging it, I really am, all right, cool, so Tier Zero, very good, very, very good stuff. Um, even those collector's rares, riding the line a little bit. But like I said, for the additional, what you get off, all right. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, look, TCG players know better. <laughs> 230s, 230s. It's cheaper over on <laughs> Drytron Nova, 32. Drytron Matronius Draconius at 32. Ugh. I, once again, I'm going to settle with this. Today, for the most part, yeah, it's way cheaper over on Tier 0. And like I said, what's good 5 is going to uh, save you some decent value. The Nightmare Unicorn, <laughs> regular $4. Um, the main thing on this set is collector's rares, check. All right, that's, that's your value. And then whatever else you really want to pick up might be up in the air. But as I'm making this video, this is, yeah, go, go with Tier Zero if you're going to pick up stuff at this point. I do think the Drytron is probably the one thing I would focus on. I, I just want to play Magi Dolls because I think it's cool. I also want Artemis because you can just link out into the auto spellcaster anyway, um, which, I mean, clears the way through Alistair. It's not good. It's another card that you can play for dolls, um, which is really nice. All right. Ah. Ah, uh, look, they're $32 now. The Blue Eyes isn't going to go higher. Come on, guys. All right. We've officially broken the $29.99 mark here, and we actually gained a lot of value uh, upon the, the set release yesterday. Imperms are down to the, well, $19 mark. Dark Magician's writing about 12 to 13 still. Ash Blossoms, still about 950s. Nibiru's still trucking, 85 listings I see here. Golden Boys... Still trucking. Feather Dusters, still floating about the 5 to $6 mark. Nothing too crazy. The Apollos is still pushing up about the $5 mark. $5 on the Drolls. All right. 
two forties on the Toads. Oof. All right, um, Gold Series overall this year. Huh, he's getting a little bit of value back. These were dollar twenties. Um, there's still a lot of stuff in this set I would keep an eye on. I, I say this every single video, just to be patient with this set. I uh, don't get your panties in a bunch just because you haven't sold right away. All right, and it'll be fine. Alternate art tour guides, dollars plus shipping. Alistair's are dollar forty-five plus shipping. All right. Outside of this, there's great value to be had in this set. Um, still, all right. Ah, uh, Zeus's. Ooh, we got a we got a three hundred dollar here. Three hundred two. Very very cheap. Wee woo wee woo. He does are at two forty twos. Alpha's down to two of fives. Uh, these still went up. We talked about this yesterday. Still find this very hilarious. We're at 185s right now on the torn scales. Those, in fact, did push up. Zeus's are at 47s. Alpha's at the 36 $38 mark. My bad. Torn scales down to 24. Yikers. Those are on the low side. Lulu's up to 18. These were 16 yesterday. Had you bought them with the kickback, you would have done good. Uh, Tri Brigade Airborne Assaults, nine bucks. Um, there's nothing too crazy here. I see six dollars on the Fox Arc Rebellions at four fifties. The rest of this set is all right. At least there's good, decent value to be had in here, unlike Genshin Impactors. Uh, to answer the question if I think mutants are good, I actually have an email sitting on my desk right now, uh, talking about how mutants are really good and there's a lot of cool potential to be had with the deck. Um, they're just one card or two cards really short from being able to do that full combo potential. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I assume it has to do with combo. So is it worth to pick it up? If you think that we're going to get that one more mutant card, actually the OCG will probably get one more mutant card when they release this over there. Uh, is it worth it for the long haul? I don't personally think so, but that's your discussion. Oh, Dark Roller No More Commons are $3. Hey, look, tokens, $1.75 plus shipping. I love these low listings. Oh, look, $2 on the hollows. The the Penny Stonk Structure Deck returns. And I'm going to say the same thing I said earlier. You should have got your tokens when they were donkey. All right, they were super cheap. Nobody wanted them, and they were good value. And it still looks like those that got them got rewarded. Ah, this is still funny to me. The Ghost Ring Dragon Raw. This card continues to go on its lowered spiral here. Now, a lot of people have learned to start listing these as light play. Uh, I, I assume the amount of TCG player cases that have been involved with people mislisting these with scratches on the foiling. You gotta love those near mint hunters. They're the worst. But we're looking at 176 on these. Look, Egyptian God Slime, 16 bucks. Ancient Chance, 15s. These are kind of going up actually. Alternate Raws, seven, eight bucks. I would expect some sort of value increase in this over time, actually. Interestingly enough, outside of everything, um, we're trucking along. Um, it's not a grand place to be, but it, it's some interesting stuff. Oh, this is 35 cents plus shipping. Hmm. All right. Neos Wiseman today. Uh, since Ubel hasn't gotten support in an eternity, and this is the OG printing of this, uh, gotta love when our collector's cards continue to go on to the moon. 115 frickin' dollars for this. Huh. Yeah, I wish I was rich too. Th this is insanity. I, I wish I understood things like this. Neo Parshath, the Sky Paladin. Uh, this is from STON. I, I don't know what I missed back here with this too. But it's gone to the moon. Light place for 20s. $29 for those first edition Neo Parshaths. And then Cyber Emergencies, um, $14, $425 plus shipping. And then the new ones are like $3 and something. It's it's actually interesting. So uh, what do you guys think about today's market? Ha ha! Please leave a comment down below if you guys are shopping on Tier 0. Please use What's Good 5. If you guys are going to buy from TCG Player, please use the link down below. At no cost to you, it helps support the channel. And I love you guys. All right? All right, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, 
I would probably be doing Drupal Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCall40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCall40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.